So to staple the piece together, I need a short staple that's like an eighth inch. And I can't find, at most an eighth inch, I can't find it, so I'm going to try to cut these. See how that works. Hopefully that will hold it together while I trim. So I'm picking them up with the needle nose and setting them in here. And lining them. So I have that many, you can even see that, staples in there. Which is probably enough. And uh, I just have these arrow staples. This is what I had in. So I'm going to use that 3 ace. And I have a small stapler. So this is obviously as I wrap the piece, I'm going to use contact cement. Um, but then in addition to secure the fabric, I want to staple around it, and that's what they did at the manufacturer too, so I feel like that's a good way to go. It's about that amount. It's pretty good, I don't like the end, but working on this a touch earlier, <laughs> sort of by mistake, what I did was I just wrapped this over and I used a utility knife and I just cut a slot in to hold so I did it like this as that, that is pulled and I have it in a spot where I like it and I have some tension on it you can see that knob there Cut it through, and I'm pulling it over that. And my, I, and what I'm trying to do is, I guess I'm trying to gauge how this is going to fit before I end up putting contact cement on, right? Because I want to do the contact cement. I just I'm concerned that that's going to be somewhat difficult. But I really like the way that looks from what I can tell right now. The edges look nice. It's a it's a decent padding. I'm 
to show you the padding. I don't even know if I showed the padding on the. So I glued a memory foam carpet pad contact with contact cement. So I didn't do it all. I just put contact cement on the ends and then down the middle about a, a inch strip um, and laid it down there. And then I used the scissors and I trimmed up. Start trimming up. Just putting contact cement on the edge. We're going to try to. And you're supposed to cut like fingers one inch apart but I have way more fabric than I need so I'm going to trim off a bunch Trimming up things, making those fingers on it to have an edge to be able to cut to or to, to wrap it and not have issues. And I'm looking at it to see if there's like a spot where it's not pulled as nicely. I'm pulling that spot a little bit more and then working it down to make sure it's nice and tight. So I have the edges done.
Okay, these other girls suck. A little close to the edge here, but it's not past the seam. So that was a concern, but I think it'll be okay. And I don't want too much flex, but I want a little bit. And I like what I'm seeing, so let's try this. And... something with this corner a little bit. Nothing to glue it to is the problem. Okay, so I need to put some contact cement on that. That is not working. That's a little better. It just really does to hold it down so it doesn't. Let's try one. Well, that's definitely better. Oh yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Got a little bit of a, a 
lip there that I wasn't happy with, but I think once it's on the thing, you're never going to see that. And the rest of it, I am very happy with the result. It's on. All right, so here is the original fabric that was on the armrest. It was this padding, and I think I showed that before a little bit, but you could just see the difference is unbelievable. And this was the fabric that was on the armrest. It is, it just, it's junk fabric. It gets dirty super easy, it's horrible. This will not, it'll wipe right off. Yeah, it's vinyl, but I'm okay with that. The padding underneath, I used a, um, memory foam, quarter inch. I got it at a Menards, a local Menards. It's like a, Home Depot or, or Lowe's. It's just a carpet pad. I put this part down and this part up. And then I contact use contact cement to secure that to the plastic base. So this is uh, this is the vinyl I used. I got this from Hobby Lobby. One one third of a yard is what I bought cost two dollars so the foam pad cost me two dollars this cost me two dollars the most expensive part of this endeavor so far has been contact cement that was five something I have to put these screws in now Gonna put this back on. Oh yeah, you know. It's nice. It's uh lined up on every spot, it's nice and tight. Man, that is that is an unbelievable upgrade. So that completes this new project I did with the armrest. Uh, so far I've modded my headlights, uh, the sun visor strip on my windshield, and if you have something you'd like me to try to do, um, please leave a comment and I will take a look at seeing if that's something I can, uh, can tackle or not. Uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.